unbelievable. I am actually uploading something other than Modern Warfare. I mean, I can't believe it myself. But in today's video, we're going to be discussing Black Ops 3, the new operation, DLC 3, whatever you want to call it. It is called Strike from the Shadows. We've got all of it to discuss in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. But really quickly, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new, make sure you subscribe because I've got a goal of getting 100 subscribers a month and we just smashed April's 100 subscriber goal. So I want to even push 200 subscribers going into May and be at 200 subscribers by the end of May or 700 if you're thinking of it in terms of I'm um, at 500 now. So if you enjoy a British geezer making a fool out of himself or talking over some Call of Duty gameplay, then what are you doing? Subscribe. And even if you don't like that shit, it's for free, so why not? But here is the trailer for the next operation, Strike from the Shadows. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. So to be brutally honest, there isn't actually a lot we can take from this trailer. Obviously, we know that the Spectre is going to return. As part of the DLC or the operation, we will get two multiplayer maps for those that have the Blackout Pass. Something to do with zombies and something to do with Blackout. Now, what they're going to do with Blackout <laughs> is probably change the fucking weather again. Because that's all they seem to do. We had the Spring Update. We had the Snowballs on the ground. We had the Autumn Update. But to be honest, the Operation updates are genuinely quite shit. We'll get a change of a Blackout map, we'll get a new Blackout mode, it will either pop or flop. Now aside from the Zombies updates, which I don't really play Zombies, so I don't know, you only get two multiplayer maps. Everyone on Blackout gets the same stuff for free. Everyone on Zombies and multiplayer, that is just exclusive for those that have the Blackout Pass. So you're only paying for multiplayer and Zombies. Everything else is for free, and you're only getting two multiplayer maps and a zombies map. So, is the Blackout Pass really worth buying? Probably not. Now, I'm no expert by any means, and I don't work for Activision, even though I think I should work for Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer, because my ideas are so fucking fantastic. But what I think they should do, if you pay for the Blackout Pass, you get three multiplayer maps, a zombies map, and a skin on Blackout. That is only available when you buy the Blackout Pass. Now, this would actually encourage people to buy the Black Ops Pass, but also I think that everyone should benefit from the operation. So when you think about it, only really people on Blackout benefit from operation updates. You get a new character that you can grind out for. So in this case, you'd get the Spectre that you could play for. You get an updated map every few months and you get a new game mode every few months. So it's like a win-win if you're a Blackout player. But if you're playing on multiplayer or you're playing on zombies, you lose out. If you don't actually pay for the Black Ops Pass, you don't get anything. With the Blackout updates, we've got a free Blackout map. You got Alcatraz for free. Where the flip have they done that in multiplayer? So what I think they should do is have three maps for those that have the Black Ops Pass on multiplayer, one map for zombies, and a skin, like I said earlier on, in Blackout that only the people with the Black Ops Pass can unlock. And then those that don't have the Black Ops Pass but enjoy playing multiplayer, enjoy playing zombies, get a remastered map. That would be sick. They wouldn't spend any more time and effort putting into the game as they would get out. Because more people would want to play it because you've got that remastered map coming back in. You keep everyone happy with minimal time and minimal effort spent. But that has been the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to get it to at least, at least a minimum of 600 subscribers by the end of May, which is completely possible. So subscribe if you are new. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. And leave all the comments down in the comment section below. But I hope you are having a fantastic day. This is Lukey, and I'm signing out. Peace.